Hey there folks, so Oldershot here, and today we're going to play some more Long Dark, as I'm sure you guys can already see on screen, because we are playing some Long Dark. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we are in the homestead. Uh, today is day 19, 6 hours in. We are kind of tired, and it's around 3 p.m., so I feel it's a little bit too late to really go exploring a whole lot. Um, so we're going to just take a look around the homestead, just for a little bit. Oh, what, what is this? Oh, a magnifying glass? Oh, this is new? <laughs> well, it's new to me. I don't know if this has always been here. Um, okay, well, let's take a look at that. I've never found a magnifying glass before. Um, well, that's exciting. Let's see here. Magnifying glass that can be used. To start fire during the daytime. Oh, cool. That's pretty nifty. Um, I don't think this is the exact fire starter that some of uh, you guys have been talking about in the comments over the last few episodes. But still, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's pretty neato. Well, we'll try that out maybe if it's a sunny day. And it looks like we found a granola bar here as well. But anyways, as I was saying... Uh, I spent a little bit of time off camera, as I usually do, organizing some of the fancy loot that we found over our last episode. As you can see, I got all our extra gear and materials and miscellaneous objects in here. All right, in this little cabinet here, uh, and our all our consumables, uh, first aid and food and all that stuff. I put into this cabinet here and also af off camera I've also cooked up some of the venison that we were lucky enough to gather in our last episode so that's pretty neat you know that's pretty awesome um oh look a piece of cloth like I said oh look a flare cool <laughs> like I said in uh, the first first time that we came back to Pleasant Valley I guess the second time in that case, uh, we're probably going to keep finding little tiny bits of loot in this area that I missed because uh, I tend to miss a lot of things, right? <laughs> but anyways, we are carrying an extra flare that I don't want to hold on to right now. So, let's put that away for now. I don't really want to go out right now. Like I said, like it's almost 4 p.m., right? It's not going to give us a whole lot of time to explore. So, our goal right now is to build some snares and set them up and probably go to bed for the night then probably spend the latter half of this video um, trying to, well, trying to uh, explore a little bit more around this area. We probably won't go for the radio tower this exact episode. We probably aren't all that prepared for it right now. Uh, but I'm planning on doing it probably next episode, but we'll, we'll explore around. We'll check out the scenery and all that fancy stuff. But anyways, we're going to need some reclaimed wood for them fancy snares. So we're going to harvest some of those. Do we have the fatigue to support that as an hour and 40 minutes or something like that? Although I think we can reduce it actually. Um, here we go. Hatchet. There we go. There we go. I think that'll do it. Four pieces. I think that's enough for two snares. I think 48 minutes. I think we can handle that. Anyways, you might have heard some noise in the background. That's me dropping my phone all over the place because, uh, as usual, I forgot to set the timer for this episode. <laughs> I tend to do that a lot. Um, but, anyways, we got our reclaimed wood. We should probably gather our guts out of uh, this cabinet here. And let's see. Two pieces of guts. That might be enough for two sneers. I'm hoping. It'll definitely be enough for one at the very least, so here's hoping for two. Then we can catch uh, more rabbits, and then we can start making our fancy rabbit mitts, and then we'll be all geared up. All right, it is a pretty sunny day. Maybe, maybe we will try this, um, that fancy, what's we call it, the, the magnifying glass. How do we equip it? I'm not sure what number is it. Well, it's not number one. It's not number two. It's definitely not number three. That's our, that's our fancy rifle. Oh, I just, I just dropped our meats. That's how we dropped our rifle last time. Four is to drop things randomly. Okay, good to know. Um, I have no idea how to use a magnifying glass, guys. If anyone have found a magnifying glass uh, yourself, let me know in the comments. Because it seems like an interesting little tool. 
that I haven't found before. I'd love to use it, but it doesn't look like I can actually equip it. Uh, I have no idea how to use it. Just know, like, like if I use a rifle, I can equip it, right? Or even if I use a flare, equip, magnifying glass. All I can do is drop it. I, I don't, drop it. That didn't do anything. There's no fire. Maybe I have to set up. Oh, I see. Hmm. I see. I see. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Okay, we'll waste a little bit of the fire. Oh, okay, cool. So we can do that. Um. Um. You know what? L let's let's try it. Just just for the sake of experimentation. Uh, start the fire. Magnifying glass requires direct sunlight. But it's a nice day out. What are you what are you talking about, game? Look at this. This is a gorgeous freaking day. What what are you telling me? There's no oh screw you. Okay, screw it. <laughs> screw it. Screw it. Anyways, um, I'm gonna set my timer real quick now that my phone is uh, turned on. Just give me two seconds here, guys. Two seconds. Okay. Don't bite my head off. There we go. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, um. Yeah, let's let's build ourselves some snares, so we can catch ourselves some rabbits. I think that would be a, a pretty good idea. I think Petlanovix, I, I I believe I'm pronouncing it right properly. Maybe this time, uh, he was asking to see the new fangled crafting menu since they updated to two twelve. I think it's actually up to like two twenty one version or something like that. I don't know. I'll be posting it it in the description. Uh, the exact version because they did release a small uh, hotfix so there is that but anyways we are looking at the fancy new crafting station menu thing uh, and it, it definitely looks pretty fancy I gotta say and look at this every single recipe is fully detailed and uh, they have their own page now this is pretty cool I like it um, it looks really nice for sure it definitely, definitely looks really nice and it's quite informative. Uh, my only concern is that it's going to be a little bit hard to kind of flip through what you want to build. Especially for first timers because, you know, you have to flip through each individual page. Um, it looks fancy, but functionally, I think it's actually kind of a downgrade to be completely honest. The drop down menu is a lot easier to kind of navigate, but... I don't know. I don't know. It looks nice, though. I'll give it that. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, speaking of looking for the, the thing that we're looking for, uh, sneers. One gut, one reclaimed wood. I think we got enough to do that. Let's see. We will use um, our sewing kit to make the sneer. That, that seems really odd to me, uh, but we'll do it. Okay, well, we'll make... Cannot craft this with selected tool. Oh, I see. How about... Oh, I didn't bring my damn quality tool. Okay, two seconds, guys. <laughs> derp -a -der, derp -a -der, derp -a -der. Forgetting to bring my tools. Okay, well, we'll go back and grab our quality tool. As soon as I can find a damn door. There we go. Now, how the hell are we encumbered? Right! We're really tired, aren't we? Yeah, we're pretty tired, actually. Um... I think we got enough energy to make the sneer that we want, though. So we're going to continue uh, with our sneer creating excursion. All right. We're going to do that. Uh, let's see here. We need... What do we need again? Right. We need a quality tool, which I'm damn sure is in here because it's all nice and organized now. Uh, we, we're definitely not carrying the tool. There it is. Yoink, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Back out we go. I think this is like the, at least the second uh, or maybe third or maybe even fourth time <laughs> that I meant to craft something here and had to go back and get all my stuff because uh, I play efficiently like that. That's, that's how you play efficiently in the long dark. You make three trips to do anything, right? That's, that's how you play efficiently. Not sarcastic at all. Um, anyways, let's let's build ourselves the sneer with our quality tool, of course. Uh, begin crafting, indeed. And once it's done crafted, I think it'll be around the time 
that we should probably go to bed out of it. But anyways, we should probably get a little bite to eat. We'll drink the soda because it's about to rot. Um, I don't know how soda rots. I know they can go bad. I don't know if they actually rot slow. I don't know, maybe. But anyways, let's make our second um, snare. Oh, that's not how you make it. Hitting back is not the proper way of crafting things. Here we go. Begin craft. Oh, wrong tool again. Begin crafting. Okay, here we go. Magic craftingness. Go. Okay, cool. Neato. We got two snares. Excellent. Um, what time is it? Six thirty. Uh, we'll quickly set up our snares. I think we got enough time to do that. Although, you know what? Just in case, because I want to be careful. We're going to rest just for one hour, which will give us enough daylight to set up our snares uh, and then go to bed for the day. I think that would be a good idea. All right, we'll pick up this bedroll. Pick that up. Thank you. All right, now set up our snares, which is uh, nice and close to the, the what's we call it, the farmstead. Uh, this is like, this is a great place. This, this area here, the farmstead on Pleasant Valley, this is truly kind of like the, the Swiss army knife of, uh, of the long dark, if you will. And what I mean by that is that it has pretty much everything you want here, you know? It has, uh, it has, has shelter, amazing shelter, actually. Um, it's fairly safe, you know? There's no wolf spawns that's, you know, directly, extremely close to the to the house there's tons of wildlife just roaming around for you to hunt which is great um there's rabbits all over this area that's not far from the house and there's even uh beer spawns fairly close to this area as well so that's definitely pretty cool you know like i said i kind of think of this place as sort of like the uh the swiss army knife of the long dark to be honest, it might be a little bit overpowered, this area here. Um, they might change it in the future. I don't know if they will or not, but I, I get a little bit too comfortable here, right? I find this place, I find the homestead. I really don't want to go anywhere else in Pleasant Valley. <laughs> I'm like, I'm pretty content here. You know, it's a nice big house. You know, it's bigger than my actual house I live in. Uh, and it's, it's actually kind of nicer as well. And it has everything I ever want here. Why would I ever leave? Right? But anyways, I digress. Uh, we're going to set up uh, the rabbit traps. We'll try to set up somewhere close and easy to find. Because our first excursion to trapping rabbits in Pleasant Valley, we lost at least two of our traps. Uh, because I didn't know where I left them. <laughs> I guess this is good of a reason as any. I think right here will be good. We'll put, set it like right next to this tree. So it'll be like a fairly somewhat maybe easy place to find it. Uh, let's place it here. And let's see here. Uh, equipment. And we'll place another one. Can we place it like on the thing? That'll be funny. No, it looks like we can't. Okay. Well, we'll place one on the other side uh, because symmetry is very important. Okay. Too far away, the hell? Okay, right there. There we go. Okay, well, that's not very symmetrical. <laughs> we, we failed on that. Hold on. Maybe we can set up an angle so it looks more symmetrical. There we go. That kind of looks more symmetrical. There we go. Good job, Aldershot. Pat on the back. Very symmetrical. 10 out of 10. Anyways, um, <laughs> back to our homestead or farmstead, whatever you want to call it. Because we need to go and sleep the night off. Uh, plus, we lost a bit of condition in our last episode, so sleep will be good. We're at 80% condition now, so a nice long sleep uh, would probably, you know, heal that 20%. And that's, of course, not a bad thing. Having more health in video games is a good thing, <laughs> right? Video game logic. Video game logic. Uh, anyways, I'm obsessed with looking at every small detail. Uh, in this house because like I said I keep finding like really good loot that I keep missing like that magnifying glass or bullets I found bullets the other day that was pretty cool uh, but anyways anyways I'm just rambling on now so 
we'll go to bed out of it. All right. And like I said, I read your comments, you know. Uh, we will definitely try and aim for the, the what's we call it, the radio tower. Uh, probably in the next episode, because, you know, we probably don't have a lot of time left in this episode. But anyways, let's see here. Uh, I want to grab a little bite to eat. Still no can opener, guys, by the way. Still no damn can opener. But we're going to grab a little bite to eat. We'll probably have a little sippy, sippy sip of water. So we don't, you know, wake up thirsty. And uh, see where we go. Actually, we don't need no water. I think we're pretty good. Uh, we'll eat the candy bar as well. Just in case. Because I want to sleep for about 9 hours. So we wake up at a good hour. Make sure our condition's at 100%, maybe, hopefully. 8 hours. And also, if we only sleep for 8 hours, we'll wake up in the dark. I don't want that. Here we go. 5.30 a.m. That's pretty good. Pretty good day to start, well, our day, I guess. But let's go to bed out of it. Why not? Also, I read um, Mint, Mint Kelly, who is a regular commenter to our Long Dark series. Uh, she, she said or she mentioned that it would be really cool if the Long Dark was multiplayer. That way, all of us can have a nice, fancy game together. I think that would be a lot of fun. I would love for that to happen. Uh, but to be, completely, to be completely honest, one of the reasons I like The Long Dark is because of its single-player balance, if, if that makes any sense. Like, multiplayer survival games, like, loot is really hard to find, and it's a little bit frustrating having to deal with random players killing you for no goddamn reason at all. That's really frustrating, because I like to play the nice guy. I want to help people, you know? And I often get chopped in the head for trying to help people, and that really sucks. That deterred me. From playing more H1Z1, right? Uh, maybe I'm just being salty, <laughs> and I should just live with it because that's how those games kind of go. Uh, that's totally pos possible, but I don't know, not for me. But however, um, we did hit over 2,000 subscribers not too long ago, and I do want to do something to celebrate with you fine folks out there. I was kind of thinking maybe we can do another pseudo survival game. Um, probably, maybe, maybe, um, uh, Don't Starve Together. Where is our, oh, okay, it's right here. Right, right, this is where all food is, which we need right now. We need more water, actually. But anyways, I was thinking about maybe we can get together and play that game together, because uh, a server can hold six players. So that's pretty good. That's pretty, that's pretty decent, right? Uh, but anyways... I'll announce it formally in a in a vlog, uh, probably on Sunday, and then I will probably schedule some sort of events with you five folks out there to help celebrate 2,000 subscribers, hooray, <laughs> um, by next week, right? We'll probably do something next weekend or something like that. I'm not quite sure yet, just, just wait for the vlog to come out. And we can discuss more of it. But anyways, we're really thirsty. And we're really hungry. And this isn't a vlog, so I'm going to get off that topic for now. Alright? <laughs> Just wait for a vlog and we'll talk a little bit more about it. And we'll continue playing more Long Dark because that's what we're doing. We're playing Long Dark. Uh, hunger. Uh, do we want to eat the steak? I think we do, actually. We'll eat the steak. Okay, we're pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, well... Let's see, I think we only have a few minutes left for this episode, because I don't really like uh, these videos dragging on too long. So, for our final few minutes, we're going to go hunting. We have a surplus of ammunition anyways, so I'm not too afraid of wasting a couple of shots. Uh, plus, we could use a bit more fresh meat. I think that would be, be good as well. Who was that? I, I think it was Michael. Who said, I probably should have shot the wolf that went after the deer at the end of our last video. Because one bullet for double the meat, essentially. Might have been a smarter idea. He might be right, actually. You know, all, all things considering. Thinking back to it. Uh, but I don't know. Bulls are so damn precious. You know? I really want to use them for very specific reasons. Although, more woofer and uh, more wolf meat wouldn't be a bad thing either especially considering with 212 up to 212 they change the repair costs uh, 
of wolf pelt coats to actually having to use uh, wolf pelts instead of just leather, right? So it probably would have been useful actually in hindsight. Oh well, uh, we did. We do. We do see a deer. We do see a venison. I actually, I think venison is just the name of the meat. I should probably just call it a deer. Uh, for the sake of correctness, I guess. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to try and kill him. I've also learned that uh, the wolf pelt coat actually does indeed can potentially scare wolves off. But can also potentially scare deers off a little bit easier as well. So that's kind of neat to know for sure. Oh god. Oh god. Tearwell Hunter. Bad. Bad at shooting animals. <laughs> Let's see here. Doing pretty good, actually. Uh, Stats-wise, I mean. Temperature... It's not the greatest. But... We'll live. We'll carry, we'll carry on. Oh, scaring all the deers. That's what I do. Oh, look, a wolf. Maybe we'll hunt ourselves a wolf. I think we need the wolf more than the deer. Just to have a little bit of excess wolf pelts. Uh... In case we need to repair our fancy coat, of course. I'm actually going to try and get this wolf to come straight for us. Because that will be an easy headshot. Here we go. Oh god, he's zigzagging. What the hell is this? Why is he zigzagging? Okay, well, we survived. But what the hell was with that zigzag? That That's a little bit weird. Okay. I think that might have been part of the behavior change that came with 212 i could be wrong uh it's a little bit weird you know i understand why mechanically why he was zigzagging definitely make it a little bit harder for me to shoot him the bastards <laughs> but i don't know i don't know how realistic that actually is do wolves actually zigzag when they're charging at their prey i don't know if they actually do that i don't know have anyone ran into a real wolf if you did let me know if they zigzagged at you okay <laughs> Because, uh, it, it just seems a little odd, hey? Or maybe I'm just salty because I couldn't get a straight headshot. <laughs> I did get a shot in, though, which made stabbing him a little bit easier. And I certainly don't mind that. Alright, well, we'll harvest the hide out of him. That's what we're really after. And we'll harvest the guts out of him, too. Because we just used up all our guts making snares. And this guy will give us two pieces, which is pretty damn fantastic, actually. Looks like a new day is dawning. Oh, we got a new achievement. Tough as nails. 20 days survived. 10 more days until we reach our fancy goal of 30 days. So, I'm pretty happy about that. 20 days. 20 days, guys. We did this together. Hooray. Teamwork. <laughs> no, in all honesty, if you guys watched through this playthrough, if you're new to this Let's Play, if you read the comments of our entire playthrough of... Uh, the Long Dark, you'll quickly realize that this is actually quite a group effort. Alright. Lots of you five folks out there. Uh, lots of you guys have been giving me some extremely, extremely helpful tips. Uh, and we've been kind of coordinating together to where we should be heading to next. Like, uh, last episode, a lot of people telling me to go to the Rio Tower. We will definitely aim for that in our next episode. That's going to be our goal for the next episode. We'll prep up just to get ahead to the radio tower. Now, I've never been to the radio tower, okay? So I don't know where the road leads there. Um, I would love some advice in the comments, you know? Give me some pointers on where I can actually access the road, because I don't really know. Uh, if I don't get any comments on directions to the radio tower, we're going to have to just blindly make our way there, okay? <laughs> just just for shits. I don't really like looking up guides, to be completely honest. Especially when a game comes... When it, when it comes to a game like uh, The Long Dark. I find self-discovery is kind of part of the, the fun, the process of it. I certainly don't mind getting tips from you guys, though. I consider that very much part of the learning process. Uh, but anyways, folks... We did some hunting. It was successful. We did get jumped, but that's okay. Uh, we didn't die. That's the main thing. So, I'm going to end the episode here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Um, and, as always, if you did, you know, show me some love. Like, share, fave, and comment. If you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll bring you more videos like this. Thanks for watching, guys. All the shoutouts.